morning folks welcome back to parkway rv i'm austin and today we're looking at this 1992 holiday rambler imperial 34. this is a 34 foot long class a has a width of eight feet and a height of 12 feet six inches and folks this thing is this thing's pretty freaking cool for 1992 it's in great shape it's only got 21,461 miles on it it's powered by the Chevy 6.4 454 big block and it's sitting on the P30 chassis which these things were built bulletproof you have an all aluminum outside frame and these bad boys are riveted in there's no D-lamb here and folks just Hang out and we take while we take a look at this absolutely awesome piece. Now to give you a little backstory, this is the owner's. And it was very well taken care of. You can see that all the windows have awnings over them. So you can leave a window cracked even if it's raining just a little bit. And you can also see this awesome exterior. It's a little old, but for 31 years it's still looking great. Right here is your gin, which this is a Cummins Marquee 7000. So it's a 7000 watt gin. Man, this thing just looks great for its age. Here's we come to the back. We will take a look in this here little compartment. Now you can see the spare tire. Look at how clean this compartment is. And you might be like, oh, well, I'm sure y'all clean it. No, when this thing pulled in the other day, because it drove here, one of our techs drove it here, they cracked that open and that's how it looked. It was, it blew me away. Here we can take a look at these just absolutely solid built doors with the entire top being the hinge massive pass through storage on the back side here Folks, I don't, even, I don't even know what to say about this thing. It's so cool. Well, I believe this right here is probably the propane. Which it is. This has a 30 gallon propane tank. And now folks, I'm going to set my camera up and I'm gonna step inside and I'm gonna let you hear what this 454 sounds like from the outside because it sounds fantastic. Folks, I'm a fan of big block engines, so just listen to this baby rumble. Folks, I think it's time we went inside this Imperial. And now this thing is a living time capsule, so the interior may look a little dated. Pretty much everything in here is original. There's a few things that did get changed around. I think uh, at one point, some new speakers got put in. It actually has a Panasonic radio. We'll take a seat up front in your captain's chair. It does have cameras, but I can't figure them out myself. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or it's showing three cameras. I 
It also has this spotlight, which is really cool. I'll have a overlay showing you what that looks like when you use it. And you can also control the speed with the dial here. This is fast and slow. You got spotlight, floodlight, and go left, right, up and down. Twenty one thousand four hundred sixty one miles on the odometer. And you also have this Uniden Pro 330E CB. Let's turn that on. Let's see if we can't find a channel where someone's talking. I know it works. I was going to say, if no one was talking, I've got a unit in Bearcat in my Jeep, and I would have flipped it on and had someone talk to me. <laughs> got this CRTV up here, which everything in this thing works darn near. It's just I remember the old CRTVs, that satisfying staticky noise when you turn them on. <laughs> so, this uh, couch does fold out to make a sleeping area. Before I do any of that, I want to show you these the shades. You have, now you can see outside, then you have your daytime shade, and then you have your nighttime shade. I think that's pretty cool. So let's see what this looks like all folded out. The way it folds out is you grab down here, pick up, and the whole thing folds out. I just can't figure out how to arrange the cushions properly. But this does fold out to provide a very nice sleeping area. That's the one bad thing about this being a 1992. There aren't any videos this probably would have been commonplace then, and there would have been demos when you bought it, but all I have to go off is all the original documentation. Which, this thing was purchased brand new for $97,768. Got everything right here. It's Imperial 34. Shows all the uh, extra add-ons it had. Color TV, cable hookup, telephone, and VCR. Here it shows its uh, construction. Aluminum frame superstructure. With smooth aluminum exterior. And then most of my info actually came from this. I believe it was in the 70s. That's where, page 70, I should say, not the 1970s. It actually shows you like material care, how to clean it, keep everything nice and pristine. Yeah, here we go. This is where I got a lot of the information for it. Yeah, fuel tank capacity of 80 gallons for this one because this is the 34 CS has the AL80E transmission this thing gets 230 horsepower at 360 360 3600 rpm and 385 foot pounds of torque at 1600 rpm also know if we go further back this yeah, right here. So this one has a freshwater tank of, it should be 70 gallons. 
a gray water of 27 and a black water of 38 gallons. And then this is where I got the info for your LPG. Yeah, 30.5. I said 30 gallons because I wasn't entirely sure if the 0.5 was necessary. but And it'll even tell you the types of bulbs for the interior and exterior. Yeah, th this owner's manual has everything on this. Well, for the most part. The, there are certain nuanced stuff that you would have just known from the dealer telling you. This is before my time. It's still a great Class A though. Plenty of space. Pretty decent clean interior. I like this right here. It's got a barometric gauge. Helps you gauge if there's some weather coming. As well as you've got temp gauge. Here's all your monitoring panel. Now one thing I really like about this kitchen, you've got this extension that comes up and you have a pantry down here. As well as, I believe it's the top drawer. Yes, it's the top drawer. Perfect for your utensils. I believe that's for like steak knives. I'm not entirely sure. was another what was it in this one ah oh, here it is yes it's in this one the rollout pantry this was a option they offered and then you have your u-line ice maker this was another top of the line option four burner stove top microwave and look how clean this stove on the inside is. You got a two basin stainless steel sink. Now don't worry about the fridge. There's, we still have that wood panel. I think they took it off for cleaning and just hadn't stuck it back on just yet. What's interesting about the fridge that it came with is there were three ways to keep it going. You had your AC, propane, or it could run off 12 volt. It was called the, uh, what was it? Three-way power or something like that. It, it was inside the little manual that I read. I just, so much new info to keep track of. So here we'll step into the bathroom, which this has ceramic tile. So you have a tub with a bifold brass laden door. It's... Look how nice that is. Your skylight does have a cover. Yeah, this was not made for me. <laughs> come to the rear where your queen mattress is even back then they had mood lighting look at that and there's your AC this does have one in the rear and as well as the front here you have an accordion door to give you privacy in your aft section of the RV and really this thing is just stellar for what it is very clean interior Runs great. Heck, the one of our techs drove it here. And you might be wondering, well, what do you want for something like that? Typically, something like this would probably go for about $24,900. But our price is $19,900. Folks, if you want something that's tried and true, reliable, if you want a project to work on, because you could very well restore this back to its former glory, or, heck, you could even renovate it completely redo it because it's a solid structure solid power plant and you could update the interior make it a perfect little tiny home the, the possibilities are quite literally endless for what you could do with this heck 
sitting down in the office trying to research this, I, there was a million things running through my head. Of what what can I do with something like that? So, folks, if this Class A, you you love it for what it is, or if you think you want to tweak it, make it your own, please call us at 706-965-7929. Thank you for joining me on this absolutely unique Class A. I'll see you in the next one. Folks, as always, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. It's always good having you here. I enjoy showing you what we have on the lot. You know, we're a family-owned dealership. Been in the business for over 50 years with nearly 150 campers and RVs on the lot at any given time. We have one of the largest used camper and RV inventories on the East Coast with new inventory arriving daily, which makes playing videos fun because I don't know what I want to look at next. All of our prices are haggle-free and fee-free. We believe in charging a fair price right from the start. and We don't charge any of the other fees that dealers just put in there for pure profit. If what you've seen in the video is right for you, give us a call at 706-965-7929. Until then, folks, thank you for joining me and have a good one.